Hey guys, welcome to Phantom Sound. In today's video, I would like to show you the one of my favorite drum and bass sounds. It is very often used by Camo and Crooked, Noisia, Mayfuse, and literally any drum and bass producer making some melodic or liquid drum and bass stuff. It's a detuned Solvay fleet, which sounds like this. I would like to remind you that this FL Studio project, all of the samples and presets from it are available on my Patreon page. So there are three different types of tiers with three different types of content. So make sure to visit it and pick the one you like. Also make sure to check my fresh dubstep and Nero serum preset pack. It's called Cyber Jedi and it is available on my Patreon shop. So all of the links are in the description of this video. There is some really interesting heavy stuff. So make sure to check it out. It's all about the harmonies in this type of sound. And let's start from scratch using the basic soul waves on both oscillators. Let's set the octave to minus two on the first one. Set the level all the way up. Enable the second oscillator, set the octave to minus one and the semitone at seven. Set the level all the way up as well. Here's the foundation of the sound. Those two oscillators create the main harmonies. And let's move on and enable the noise. We are going to leave it the AC hum 1 and set the level all the way up. Awesome. Let's enable the filter and use some detune with the flanger minus. Let's enable the filtering of the B oscillator and noise as well. And set a cutoff at 47. Set the resonance at 40. As well as the drive. And let's add a bit of the movement on the detune using the first LFO. Drag it to the cutoff, make it look like this. And set it at minus one, a really subtle effect. You can see this little movement, which adds variety to the sound, which is just awesome. doesn't sound too boring. Let's get to the fixes tab and enable the distortion. Set the drive at around 70%. Next we are going to use the flanger. Set the mix at 50. And a phaser. With the mix set at around 25. Oh, 30. And finally, let's add the multiband compressor. Set again at 14 decibel. And set the low frequency compression at 35. We are almost done. Let's add a little final touch using the vibrato. I'm going to be using the second LFO with this type of automation, enable the triggering and set the rate at 1 8th. Then I'm going to automate the master tuning using this LFO, enable the unipolar automation and set the amount at 1. 
really dramatically improves the sound, makes it really, really interesting. And let's compare the no vibrator version of the sound. And the vibrato. Also, I like to enable the legato and set the porter time at around 130 milliseconds. And we are basically done on the serum side. Let's take a look at the post processing that I have. First, I'm going to show you the clean version of the sound. I'm adding a little bit of compression using the OTT. Setting the downloads compression at 46, depth at 46 as well, and tweaking the frequency knobs like this. Then I'm EQing a bit and removing the low frequencies. Some of the muddy frequencies and high frequency sharpness. And then I'm having a post EQ with some final adjustments and the maximizer. Then I'm making the sound mono, duplicating it and using the second instance of it to make it wider. And of course adding a really cool sub bass. That's pretty much it guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was quite a short sound design session, but the result is really amazing. This sound is really commonly used among the top drum and bass producers. So make sure to save it to your library and make some nice little tune with it. Make sure to join my Discord server. Also don't forget about my Patreon page and support Phantom Sound. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, it is very much appreciated. And we will see you in my next video. Bye!